Have you seen these motion sickness glasses going around on social media, TikTok? A lot of people saying that it helps them with their car sickness, with their motion sickness. And they've been around for a while, but the question is, do they actually work? How do they work? We're gonna go over that in this video. Let's focus in. The first thing I wanna do is dive into the research, dive into the studies about these glasses. But yeah, as you can imagine, I didn't really find a lot of research. There aren't any published research or studies done on these glasses, which is kind of a bummer. Now, I do think I found the origin of these glasses that came from something called boarding glasses. In fact, you can go to the website right now, boardingglasses.com. Now, the CEO of that company said that their father actually invented these glasses and actually did a study or a test on the prototype of these types of glasses on the French Navy. Now, the results of that study or that test aren't really available, but from that test, they claim that up to 95% of the people that tested the boarding glasses actually helped them with their seasickness. And the reason why I say that number is because when you look at the different products on Amazon, the different goggles that you can get, they'll mention that number. They'll say, hey, these glasses might help up to 95% of the people with their motion sickness. And that's where that number came from. Now, how in the world do these glasses work? And to understand that, let's go over exactly why people experience motion sickness. Now, your visual system, your eyes, and your vestibular system, your ears, are linked together to help keep your balance. Now, your vestibular system can feel motion. It can sense motion when you're turning, sense acceleration. Your visual system can actually see the motion. If there's a mismatch of those systems, for example, if you're sitting in your car looking at your phone, your vestibular system is sensing the motion, the turns of the car, the acceleration of the car, but your visual system is not seeing the motion. It's looking at your phone, it's not actually seeing the motion anywhere. And so the systems get mismatched and that's where motion sickness comes from. And you can experience dizziness, lightheadedness, headaches, sweating, nausea, and vomiting. So these motion sickness glasses are designed to bring the balance of your systems back together. And you'll hear this phrase a lot, artificial horizon. It's designed with four clear tubes, two in the front, two on the sides, and it has colored fluid in there, always telling you where your level horizon is. So if you're in a vehicle, boat, plane, if you're turning to the left, to the right, pitching up, pitching down, you have these visual cues telling you and matching what you're feeling with your vestibular system. Now the instructions to use these, they're all pretty much the same. They usually say when you're starting to feel the motion sickness symptoms, that's when you put the glasses on and you wanna leave them on for at least 10 minutes. They say that's how long it takes to rematch your visual system with your vestibular system. And then if your symptoms feel better or it's gone, you can actually boop, just take them off. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that, that when they just get in the car, they put them right on and they just leave them on during the whole drive, hoping that it will work better. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but a lot of people say that's what they do and it works for them. Now, do these actually work? Uh, because there's not a lot of research and studies done on them, it's purely anecdotal and it could absolutely be a placebo effect for a lot of people. You'll get the range from people claiming that this is curing their car sickness. They don't feel any car sickness or motion sickness when they're wearing these glasses, all the way down to, yeah, these don't do anything. And you'll hear everything in between. My wife tested these white ones out and she said that, hey, it probably helped a little bit, maybe took the edge off of her motion sickness or car sickness. She gets car sickness pretty bad but it didn't really cure her symptoms or get rid of her symptoms, but it might've helped a little bit. Now, what's nice about these is that you can actually get these on Amazon. They can range from 15 to $25. So if you really do suffer from motion sickness or car sickness, you've tried other remedies, this might be one worth a shot. It could help you even if it's a placebo effect and still helps you, might as well go for it. And yeah, these things are awesome looking. These are the two that we got and tested out. I'll put the links in the description below. If you're going to pick one out, I'd probably definitely pick this one out. Uh, the, the white one that I got, there's a few things that I didn't like about it. Uh, one thing is that the peripheral rings on the sides really are too far back. I could barely even notice the color dye in there. It's like pushed too far back that my peripheral vision can't see it that, that well. And so the, the black one with the orange dye, the orange color in there, uh, yeah, I could definitely see the color on the sides way better because it's pushed forward a little bit. So I would probably stay away from this one. I'll put links in the description of other ones that I think will be better, but this one I'd probably stay away from. It is cheaper, but I just don't think it works as well if it is going to work. 
The nice thing about this pair is that it does have options on the colors that you can get in the rings if you care about that, if you're actually wanting to make a fashion statement with these, if you want to. Another bonus to getting these pairs, it actually comes from acupuncture wrist pads that targets an acupuncture point that supposedly could help with car sickness and motion sickness. That's kind of controversial in itself, but that's something else you could try, and it actually comes in the same bundle. Now, one thing that people get confused about is motion sickness in VR. That's actually something a little bit different. It's called cyber sickness. You can experience similar symptoms in VR, playing video games, even looking at the computer. And I go over that in detail in this video right here. Now, comment below if you've tried motion sickness glasses. I'm curious to know if they helped you. Also, if you like this video, like it, subscribe for my future videos, and hey, share this video if you think this might help someone else out if they wanna try these glasses. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.